Panic about the Y2K bug might have just been heating up in the culture and industry at large, but Sega was actually pretty ahead of the curve. Uh, they uh, did uh, at least plan, uh, unless you were playing Myst, uh, for it to uh, keep the clock current until 2199. It's funny to think, considering how short the lifespan of the system was, uh, that uh, they would uh, imagine such a far endurance into the future. Um, Though, again, they did uh, start the date before the system came out, too, so there's that. But in any case, um, you can actually get the clock to go uh, into the 2200s uh, if you set it to 11.59 p.m. on uh, December 31st, 2199, and uh, just exit uh, that screen and save um, for just about a minute. But waiting on the menu sucks, so let's... Uh, Let's check out the uh, CD player graphics. This is uh, instrumental by Mariano out of Philadelphia. So we've been waiting about a minute. Let's go back into the system settings and see what date and time it is. We have arrived in the year 2200. Um, I suppose you could uh, keep going back to midnight and increasing it um, until maybe about 99, 99, but <laughs> I don't have time to do that. And uh, I don't think you do either. So uh, that's just uh, some real real idle questions about how uh, how far the uh, clock goes into the future on the Sega Saturn 